What's up guys, Nick here from Air12 Gaming, back in Forza Motorsport 5 with something a little different. So you're probably reading the title right now saying, The Undrivable Car. What is he talking about? So, I was recently playing with a couple friends of mine. We were just messing about, playing with cars and just sort of messing around with the upgrades and stuff. Anyways, you guys know what my favorite car is, right? That is the Catrum R500, and I bought one right away and I put a drift tune on it. And then... I decided to go a bit, a, a bit mental. Yeah. Yeah. So, if you remember the update that came out, I believe, last week or the week before, it basically allowed us to do engine swaps on DLC cards before we couldn't do that for whatever reason. Anyways, they added it now, and it includes a pretty, pretty snazzy little engine, I must say. So, the original one is no real, no real slouch. 260 horsepower. For a thousand for a thousand pound car, that's not bad, right? That's not a bad ratio at all. I believe you can bump that engine up to I want to say like three sixty, maybe get an extra hundred horsepower, maybe four hundred. I'm not entirely sure. I can't remember. But anyways, that's what it's sitting at stock, and then this engine sitting at seven hundred horsepower. Seven hundred horsepower in a thousand pound car. That's a lot. I'm gonna figure out the power to weight ratio and I'll and I'll and I'll be back. So give me one second. So I did a quick calculation and a bit of research just then, and I figured out that the power to weight ratio of this is pretty much identical to the F1 car in this game. So if you remember 775 horsepower to 1,300 pounds. Now that's around one horsepower for every two pounds of, of weight. So if I check my F1 car that I have in here. Keep in mind this F1 car is also upgraded a little bit, so I don't know exactly what it's going to be. But this is 750 horsepower, and it's heavier. So technically, the power to weight ratio in Macatrum is better than that of an F1 car, which is pretty mental. So, why not try and drive it? Now, you may have seen it was four-wheel drive, but not anymore. Not anymore. That's coming off. Because, like I said, this is the undrivable car. So, for tune, that's all stock, I believe. Or no, it's a drift setup. Excuse me. It's a drift setup. Uh, it's one of my just normal drift setups. Anyways. Uh, let's take this onto... Where should we take this? Let's take it onto the test track. Because we'll need quite an area for this. So, anyways, let's load this up and begin our crashing. Alright, so, my Catrum with a better power to weight ratio than that of an F1 car. This is gonna go badly. Now, you know how people say throttle control is the way to go? Not with this. Well, I guess, sort of, but that's no fun, if you ask me, because that's a bit boring. Yeah, that, that did that. Anyways, I'll show you the most interesting feature of this car. First gear, burnout. Most cars can do that. Most cars, air quotes. Uh, let's 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 try third gear. Maybe 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 it'd be able to do a burnout. Oh, third thir third gear, little, little oh, spun me backwards. All right, all right, all right. How about fifth? Fifth gear. Uh, it it it, it just did a burnout in in, in fifth gear. And, and and why not sixth? Cause why not? Yeah, it's a burnout in the top gear. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Why do you need gears for this? Just drive around in six. That happens anyways, no matter, regardless of what gear you're in. That happens too, you go backwards. A lot. Yeah, people will say, oh, you don't know throttle control. Well, power is what I have to say to you. <laughs> so we just go in my cheeky little spot. My cheeky little sport. Thank you. <laughs> this thing's crazy. Now, technically, it's drivable. Uh, don't try and race with this, because that happens on every single strip. Don't do it. Don't do it. Every every straight. Every straight. This is just a constant drift. Is what this is. Thank you. Thank you. Did say undrivable in the title. Please note. I did say that. 
I didn't say this would be. Why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? Stop it! Stop it. Alright, so that didn't go brilliant. So let's, let's just give it one more go. Make sure we aren't messing about here. Let's really see what we can do. Alright, the top speed of this is, I, I, I want to say like 160. Th thank you. Thank you. I meant to do that. Yeah, that was a 360. That, that was on purpose. Oh, oh, going for the 720. Nope, nope. Nope, 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 nope. This car really decides on where it wants to go. If you want to go somewhere, uh, you, you better hope. You better hope you get there. Throttle control? Yeah, shut up writing your comment. I'm not going to read it if it says throttle control, because that's boring. In my mind. <laughs> I'm sure you can get around a track very, very quickly. But why not just power? Why not? Why not? All right, you know what? I'm going to take this into a race. Try it then. All right, so let's be honest. That that didn't go brilliantly. So what I've decided to do is come, is come to a track. Because I thought that would be better in my mind. Okay, sixth gear. Thank, thank, thanks for the boost. Thanks for the boost. That didn't take very long. All right, you know what I'm going to do? You know what I'm going to do? Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Nope, stop. Go in a straight. Go in a straight line. Why are you doing that? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> that was like Kevin Hart. Sideways is not quick. Oh, oh, sorry, 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 really sorry. Thank you. God damn it. No, no, no. We're going around. God. Yeah, I'm the, I'm just that cool. Uh-oh. Oh! Oop. Yeah, that was a drift, sort of. Okay, this is this is going well. Yep. I am I'm 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 not crashing. I am simply off-roading. This is seriously taking like 10 minutes to get around two laps, and I'm in last. Well, there's only one positive way to look at this. He who is last shall be sideways and smiling, which is not true because I was backwards the entire time because my car is stupid light and stupid powerful. Anyways, guys, I hope you've enjoyed the undrivable car. If you have any other cars that you think may be undrivable, let me know in the comments down below. This is probably one of the best ones for it just because it's so light. And it can become so powerful and have a better power to weight ratio than, than, than an F1 car, which is pretty awesome. So, anyways, guys, hopefully you've enjoyed. If you have, click that subscribe button down below. Share it around with your friends and other things. And anyways, I will see you in the next one.